Hello ladies and gentlemen I am Dr Nick Nickam here are the ASC 2025 guidelines for diastolic dysfunction mitral inflow less than 0.8 is grade 1 diastolic dysfunction or impaired relaxation greater than 2 grade 3 or restrictive filling E to E prime ratio greater than 14 suggests elevated left ventricular filling uh, pressure and diastolic dysfunction the average uh, e to e ratio greater than 14 consistent with increased left atrial pressure septal e velocity greater than 7 cm impaired relaxation lateral e velocity less than 10 cm impaired relaxation left atrial volume index of greater than 34 ml per meter square suggesting chronic elevated left ventricular filling pressure the peak tricuspid velocity of greater than 2.8 please just elevated the pulmonary pressure and left atrial pressure the three new criteria that have been added are left atrial reservoir strain just like we do strain for the left ventricle if it's less than 23 it suggests impaired left atrial function marker of elevated left ventricular filling pressure deceleration time less than 160 milliseconds suggests restrictive filling greater than 200 milliseconds suggests impaired relaxation or dysfunction and finally the pulmonary vein systolic diastolic ratio where the systolic is less than the diastolic it suggests increased left atrial pressure there you have it ladies and gentlemen the ase 2025 diastolic dysfunction criteria thank you